Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. We are in my bathroom today. This is our master bathroom and I'm going to be showing you how I thoroughly clean our shower and tub combo. I showed a little bit of me cleaning our shower in my watch me clean my bathroom video, but I wanted to make a separate video of the cleansers that I use and some of the tools that I use to really clean it really well. And since it is a shower tub combo and the bottom of the tub is textured, it gets a lot, it can very easily get gross because it just gets any little dirt and footprints or whatever can get in those little um, grooves in the bottom of the tub. So I've had to kind of figure out what is the best way to get the bottom of the tub clean. And just a couple other things I wanted to share with you guys. So I thought I would bring you along with me today as I thoroughly clean our shower. But I wanted to show you the things that I use to clean the shower. The first thing is my homemade Miracle Magic Shower Cleaner. And I found this recipe years ago and I've been using it ever since and it makes a huge difference. And it's, it couldn't get any more simple. It is a Dollar Tree um, spray bottle and Dawn dish detergent and white distilled vinegar, half and half proportion. So depending on the size of your bottle, if you have a 10 ounce bottle, five ounces will be Dawn dish detergent, five ounces will be vinegar, and you just shake it up and it's really easy to make and it's a lot less expensive and way more natural than spraying you know scrubbing bubbles or whatever it is that you might use of a conventional cleanser it's way better for you than using one of those cleansers it's also really good for shower walls if you have uh, soap scum or hard water buildup it really does help to break all that down so that you can wipe the walls easily and not have to scrub very much the only thing i will say and you saw me when i made this just a minute ago is i was using the dollar tree classic blue dish detergent. This is kind of like their Dawn knockoff. I think it works really well. I don't think it works as well as Dawn dish detergent. So that's up to you to decide and experiment with and see if maybe the Dollar Tree version works just as well for you. I continue to buy the Dollar Tree version just because I don't think there's a huge difference in the, the effectiveness of the Dawn versus the Dollar Tree knockoff. And so for the price difference, I go ahead and just get the Dollar Tree version. But if you want to, you could definitely use just the classic blue Dawn dish detergent. So that is the first thing that I use to clean our showers. The second thing I use throughout the week and just for quick touch-ups is just my typical cleanser, which again, in a Dollar Tree um, squirt bottle, half water, half white vinegar. The next thing that I really would not want to live without when cleaning a textured tub or really any kind of weird little surface, and I've mentioned this before, it's the Rubbermaid Sonic Cleaning Brush. The Rubbermaid Reveal Sonic Cleaning Brush. This one I bought particularly for the bottom of the tub, and I actually have another one downstairs that I use for other little things. But it uses sonic power to clean. So instead of having to scrub the bottom of your tub and it hurts your fingers and all that stuff, this does the work for you. And the last cleaning item that I really would recommend for a tub or a shower or both is a Mr. Clean eraser. I have one of these in pretty much every room in the house because they do work so well and they work amazingly well on the bottom of a textured tub. If you don't have a lot of buildup and you just have a quick cleanup in between, um, these work really well. So I don't always have to use this. Um, the most of the time when I use this is either my weekly clean that I do on Saturdays or um, if I've gotten lazy and maybe skipped a week of cleaning the tub and it's gotten kind of gross, this will work really well because it's pretty heavy duty. Otherwise, I can usually get by with vinegar and water and a Mr. Clean eraser. Another thing that's not really related to cleaning the tub but that I have found really useful, especially with three girls in this house and one of being me with long hair, we get clogged drains a lot. And usually my husband was the one that would have to go and like take the drain thing off and get a snake and snake it down in there and get the clog out. And I found a tool that I actually got for him, but I have been using it because it makes it really easy for me to clean out the drains when they get clogged up. I don't have to wait for him. And this one you can get from Amazon and it's the Zip It um, just drain. It's, it's like a snake, but it's got these little teeth on it. I don't know if you can see it. And it works really well. Another thing I really recommend is getting a washable shower curtain liner. We have, you know, just the traditional decorative shower curtain on the outside. But on the inside, I used to get the cheap plastic sticky uh, drawer or sticky uh, shower curtain liner or like insert. So I really wanted to find a shower curtain liner that I could actually wash. And this one I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. I got it probably three years ago. And whenever it gets gross on the bottom, like you can see right now, it needs to be washed. It just gets like water stains and all that stuff on the bottom. And all I do is spray it down with some OxyClean and wash it in the washing machine with bleach. And it comes perfectly clean and white and I can just hang it right back up and it's good to go. So I've had the same one 
for about three years now. So in the long run, it has saved me a lot of money. I believe it was around $15 and maybe with a coupon on top of that. So really inexpensive and for about three years of use so far and it's still going strong. So I really recommend that you get a, a washable shower curtain liner versus the plastic ones that you're gonna just have to throw away. So that's kind of the basis of my shower setup. But now I'm gonna walk you through really just how I clean it on a typical deep, more of a deep clean, not a deep clean, like a spring clean, but just my more thorough once a week cleaning. And then every day throughout the week, I'll try to spray it and maybe wipe it down. But once a week, I definitely like to get in there and spend a little bit more time cleaning it up and scrubbing it and making it shine and get ready for a new week. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna pull my hair back because I cannot stand to clean with my hair down. So I'm gonna pull it back and get it out of my way so that we can clean the shower. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get a microfiber cloth. You can use a paper towel if you want to. And I'm using my vinegar and water solution. And I'm gonna take that and just go across the top of the entire shower surround, just because it gets dusty and it gets like lint and whatever else gets built up there and just wipe that off really good. So basically I'm dusting the shower. <laughs> So the next thing I want to do is take a look at my shower head and see how it looks and if it's getting any buildup on it, which it usually does. So I'm just going to get my same uh, rag with the vinegar and water on it and I'm going to wipe it down. Okay, now I'm just going to take everything out of the tub. So we have a clean, empty, circuit, empty area to work with. Usually pitch the razors that are in there because most of the time they need to be thrown away. And then just get the bottles off that are sitting on the edge of the tub and then I keep this little rinse cup in here just for in between cleanings um, and for when I clean it but it stays in there usually and the soap and then my husband's mirror so now what I'm going to do is just spray down the walls the entire wall all the walls with my vinegar and dawn solution It doesn't really get soapy. I had people ask me that in my last video. They asked me if it gets soapy, and it doesn't really get very soapy, maybe a little bit, but really you're just gonna still need to rinse it because it is gonna leave a slight blue color because there is Dawn in there, so it is going to leave like a residue if you don't rinse it, so you need to rinse it. And it's going to be really great for the bottom of your tub where it's got maybe a textured surface. It's really good for getting that off. Depending on how dirty your tub is, you might need to let it soak. Let it sit there and soak for a while. While I wipe off the bottles that I just took out in my husband's mirror. Just so I can get those really nice and clean while we're waiting for the tub. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, and I can use that same rag, is just basically wipe the walls down. If you really wanted to, you could use a Mr. Clean Eraser if you have really gross walls and the bottom of the tub to clean if it's really gross. You could use a Mr. Clean Eraser. Mine's not that bad, so I'm just going to use that same cloth that has the vinegar and water on it, or you can just use a wet rag. It doesn't have to have, you know, any cleansers on it. And then I'm just going to go around and wipe down all the walls but like I said if you have a lot of buildup then you probably would want to go ahead and use your Mr. Clean eraser. would have been soaking all this time while you were cleaning the top so it's still in there and I'm just going to um, use that same rag to just to wipe it out again if you really need to you could use a Mr. Clean eraser but you can always come back and use this at the end after you've seen kind of what is left to clean you can always 
finish up and do any fine touch, you know, finishing touches with your Mr. Clean eraser. down and see if I have any spots I need to touch up with the Mr. Clean Eraser. Going all the way around really quickly, no scrubbing involved, just wiping. It's so much easier if you keep up with it every week. And I don't see any footprints or anything that I miss, but just to make sure, give it a good wipe and rinse it out. And I usually just kind of stick it in this little cup and keep it in the shower and that way when I'm in here I can use it here and there when I need to. So now I'm just going to get my cup and rinse all the walls and the bottom of the cup. And the way I do that, and let me lift you up and show you, just fill the cup up with water and I set it sideways. I just fill the cup up with water and then kind of set it sideways and the water just kind of drains down and you're not really like splashing and it just goes straight down and rinses the tub. So now that is what I'm going to do. Okay, so now it's all rinsed, it's all clean, it's all shiny, and that's it. I mean, it sounds maybe a lot more complicated than it really should, but I'm kind of taking time to explain all the steps to you and your different options. But having just that vinegar and water solution, the vinegar and Dawn solution, and a Mr. Clean eraser, and maybe the Sonic brush if you really need it to get on those bumpy surfaces. Other than that, it's really easy to keep your shower clean using those more natural cleansers that you made yourself. And I'm just gonna put the bottles back in, and then all I have to do now is take down the shower curtain liner, spray it with some OxyClean, um, spray it with some Oxy Stain spray, and let it soak in a washer of bleach for a couple hours and it'll be ready to hang back up. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and you really enjoy seeing a more close look at how I clean our shower and our tub. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next video.